Hello and thanks for joining Prodel Workshop. My name is George Hamal and I'm the business development manager for Prodel Europe and the Americas, based here in Sweden. Today we're going to discuss one of the micro mobility challenges when delivering cargo, whether to use soft or hard boxes. So let's start this interesting workshop. First, I would like to start with a quick introduction to Prodel and its product. Prodel is a group of company established in 1998 with its own manufacturing site and skilled workforce. The group is divided into two main activities, delivery bags and boxes, as well as paper packaging. Prodel is an international organization with office warehouses and factories in Lebanon, also office warehouses and factories in Dubai, UAE, offices and warehouses in Sweden, and office and uh, warehouses in Chicago, USA. Prodel bags are handmade with the highest quality material, and our stringent quality control system allow us to offer 12-year warranty on all our products, including zippers and electrical accessories. We have our own in-house design team that have created many innovative solutions, including many EU patent designs for new products such as the folding bike box model Tarmac or the hybrid backpack model LC24. This team has also helped hundreds of companies to create bespoke products that improve their team productivity and optimize their operation. Prodel offers different types of bags and boxes such as backpack, handheld bags, hot and cold bags, meal plan bag or cargo boxes. These are used for parcel delivery, grocery, food delivery as well as catering, transport and storage. Our customers are international restaurant chains such as McDonald's, Burger King, as well as food delivery operators such as Uber Eats and Deliveroo, and grocery delivery companies such as Flink and Gorilla. So why we are discussing this topic? Micro mobility is the answer to the problem of high cost and environment impact in the transport sector. That's why micromobility has developed so far in the last few years and is expected to grow even further more. For example, the sales of e-bike in 2021 were 26 billion, in 2027 it will be 53 billion. E-cargo bike market 1.5 billion in 2021, 5.8 billion in 2027. Similar to any new trend or industry, there are challenges to overcome. As we are focusing this workshop on the delivery and cargo side of micromobility, we will focus on some of the challenges for this. These challenges are number one, weight and range. The maximum weight with e bike or bike is much lower than with motorbike. Also, less weight means longer range for e bike batteries. The size, the bikes are smaller and limit the size of the cargo. Where you can put the cargo? Some bikes have a front and back rack, while others have one or none of them security and safety and the last one not important challenge is cost which is one of the main reasons for the switch to micro mobility as all the costs of bike and accessory and cargo need to be kept at the minimum level for cargo bike prodel offer two options soft box is with external fabric they can be reinforced and strengthened with cardboard plastic side or with fiber road the other option is a hard box made from FRP fiberglass reinforced plastic. Now we're going to do a comparison between two boxes using different criteria. Both of these boxes are made by Prodel. The first criteria is the price of the box without any extra option. For the soft box, the price is Euro 75 while the price of the hard box is Euro 200. Another criteria is the weight. It is 3.5 kg for the soft box, 12 kg for the hard box. Third criteria is the packing volume. As you can see, uh, the hard box will pack volume will be 0.125 cubic meter. The soft box will be 0.045 cubic meter. 
this packing volume will affect not just the cost of shipping and delivery but also the cost of storage and also distribution to different locations. The fourth criteria we're talking about the customization. Now the soft box can be customized in size, in material, for example material tarpaulin or polyester. Also it can be customized which opening, for example the open at the top or the front or both. For all these customization the minimum order quantity starts from 100 unit. For the hard box you can also customize the size as well as where it's open from, but the minimum order quantity is 1000 unit. Another criteria is the mobility, meaning you can remove the box and you move it around. Soft box is very easily removed because it's attached with belt and flap, while the hard box is attached with screws, so it's more difficult to move around. For the branding, the soft box can be branded with three different options. You can have panel attached to the box with the Velcro and then print on the panel. That's the easiest option, doesn't require any minimum order quantity. Other option can be printing the logo on the box or printing the whole box to use sublimation printing. The whole box can be printed according to the customer design. These will require minimum order quantity of again 100 units. For the hard box, it can be also customization with the color and with the panel. Panel can be removable and change different panel if logo change or different customer. For all this customization, the lead time is like four to six weeks for the soft, but for the hard boxes, the lead time is 10 to 12 weeks. This criteria is based on feedback and comment from real user of the boxes. The soft box does not get easily damaged to the flexibility of the material that falls under contact with another body. For the same reason, the soft box is less likely to cause harm to the rider or pedestrian in case of accident. For the hard box, uh, the nature of the hard material means that it does not fall under impact, so it's more likely to get damaged. It also can cause harm to rider or pedestrian in case of accident. For the content protection, the soft box offers good protection, but the hard box offers excellent protection. Both boxes can be equipped with the locks. The lock on the soft box is attached to the zipper, while the lock on the hard box is attached to the box itself, which makes them harder to break or open. For the visibility, the soft box offers moderate visibility through the reflective stripe. Hard box can add to it the lights and the brake lights, so it will offer excellent visibility, especially during hard weather. The last criteria we're going to discuss is the variance from the original model. Many modified versions of both soft and hard box have been designed and produced based on customer requirements. Here are some examples. For the hard boxes, many variants were ordered with different modifications as you can see from the photos on this slide. Example of the soft box is the flink box which has been completely overhauled to match their requirement. The modification included top opening, the size, side pocket, material, branding with color and design, and many more. It is a perfect example of how customization can be adapted to produce a significantly different looking model but based on the advantage of the original design. Another example is a large box for tricycle transport which shows that large size box can be made for large vehicle. We even make boxes for trailers with up to 2 meter length. Based on the soft box, we also designed a complete system called TAMS that will be officially introduced shortly. More details about the system will be revealed at the end of this presentation. Now it is time for the conclusion of our presentation. After comparing all 11 criteria, can we determine which version is the best? Actually, there is no clear winner as each type has its own advantages and disadvantages. When it comes to cost, weight and customization, the softbox has the advantage. 
However, the hard box is better to protect the content, offer better visibility, and looks more well done. To choose which type is better for their operation, the customer has to determine which criteria are more important to their business. Based on that, they can decide which box to use. For example, if the operation consists mainly of delivering grocery products that cannot be damaged easily, while at the same time the budget needs to be kept to a minimum, then the soft box is the best choice. On the other hand, if the operation concerns fragile items or items that need to be kept at certain temperature, then the hard box is a better alternative. The best way to choose the right solution is to test both options and then determine which one is the best and most suitable. Some companies can even use both types and deploy them according to their needs and specification in different locations and for different purposes. Prodel makes both types, so it will be easier for users to do the testing from one source. Also, there will be no favoritism involved as both products are our product range and our objective will be to help the customer find the optimal solution. At the end of this workshop, we want to introduce our new system TAMS stand for Tarmac Modular Mobility System. This is a complete system designed to maximize the load of one single vehicle. It includes front and back boxes as well as two side boxes and trailer box. TAMs can be used as a whole or in part. The operator decides what part to use depending on the volume, size of delivery at a given time. Each component can also be customized as per the user's specific requirement, example the size, the material, the color, how the box open, how they close, for example with a zipper, with a buckle, with velcro. The advantage of this system is that it allows delivery company to optimize their operation without being forced to buy or lease extra vehicle. They can also start with one component and then on more later as needed. So TAMS is a three-way saving system. It can save money by allowing company to use the same vehicle. It can save time and personnel by allowing more cargo per trip. It can save pollution by allowing fewer trip. This system is an excellent tool for delivery and cargo company as it grows at the same pace as the business. We are going to show TAMS at many upcoming exhibitions that we will be participating in such as Internorga in Hamburg from 10 to 14 March, Micromobility Europe in Amsterdam from 8 to 9 June, and Micromobility America in San Francisco in September. We hope to see you at any of these events and get the chance to test. Thank you again for joining us and hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions, please ask them and we'll be happy to answer.